ओके सो गुड इवनिंग सो वेरी क्विकली आई विल डिस्कस हियर अबाउट द न्यूक्लियर डिटेक्टर्स सो बेसिकली द लेट मी टेक सम पेन ओके सो नॉर्मली द फंक्शन ऑफ न्यूक्लियर डिटेक्टर्स इज टू डिटेक्ट द न्यूक्लियर पार्टिकल्स इट मे बी आल्फा बीटा गामा और द न्यूट्रॉन विथ सम हाई काइनेटिक एनर्जी बेसिकली इट डिटेक्ट्स द नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन पार्टिकल्स इट्स एनर्जी मोमेंटम एंड द डिरेक्शन एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा सो बेसिकली हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द वेरी बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस न्यूक्लियर डिटेक्शन न्यूक्लियर पार्टिकल डिटेक्शन सो दिस इज ए चेम्बर इट्स ए मेटालिक चेम्बर and inside this is a string <coughs> um, electrode okay this area these are filled with normally hydrogen or uh, uh, air at at uh, uh, normal atmospheric pressure normally this is a uh, external uh, potential source at the negative terminal connected with the cylinder and the positive terminal is connected with the electrode so basically this is anode okay and this is your cathode okay this is a this is an external resistance r okay so now what is happening if the high the nuclear particle with high uh, kinetic energy is getting incident inside the uh, cylinder then what is happening ionization is taking place so now let us understand what is ionization so uh, this uh, the outer most uh, the electrons which are there at the outer most orbit of the uh, uh, gas which is filled inside the cylinder they are uh, comparatively more uh, less stable okay so if the particle of higher kinetic energy collide with that it's getting excited and it is coming out that electrons are coming out from the uh, orbit so due to that reason this atom is getting slightly positive charged okay and it is releasing some electron now as here i am this area i am producing the uh uh, uh <coughs> negative uh, this connected with the negative terminal and anode is positive terminal so normally the electric field with this direction direction of the electric field will be like this it will be generated okay so normally as we know this uh, uh so this uh electrons will be attracted by the anode it will be accumulated and the positive ion will be accumulated at the inner lining of the uh, cylinder <coughs> so as the electrons are accumulated in the uh, electrode string electrode there will be a flow of current there will be a flow of current so electrons will flow electrons will flow like this and it is coming because here also positive ions are there so electrons are following this external circuit it is flowing through the resistor and again uh, uh, accumulated with the positive ions and getting neutralized so this is the cycle so once this things happening so till the conduction period you will get a pulse you will get a impulse okay something like this or it will be something like this exactly something like this so uh, because uh, this will take some time it will hold for some time because it will take the conduction and then it, it will be very high frequency pulse normally and very low amplitude you have to detect that so here <coughs> externally the circuits will be it, uh, some electronics circuit will be connected which will post process the signal and it will <coughs> give you the desired parameter like your uh, number of uh, uh, nuclear particle its 
momentum, direction, etc., etc. Okay. But sometimes, what will happen? As I told, the intensity, the, the the amplitude of the currents are very less. So to avoid that, one step ahead, what we do? The all arrangement are same, but the chamber is coated with a thin layer of highly enriched uranium two thirty five to detect the neutrons. Okay, and the neutrons are not directly ionizing. the gas but uh, they have usually to be converted into charged particle before uh, 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 they can be detected as you know this a thermal neutron which having a high kinetic energy and um, uh, the velocity of a thermal neutron is around uh, 2.2 km per second uh, which will cause spontaneous fission with the uranium 235 which is lined with the uh, inner uh, <coughs> periphery of the uh, of cylinder and it will produce uh, uh, the fission by product which having very high kinetic energy and it can cause uh, uh, better ionization okay of the gas and it can cause some uh, current Uh, which is of higher amplitude, and that should that will be much more easier to detect and post process. Okay. Now, <clears throat> in case of cell power neutron detector, uh, there is as uh, as earlier told the before the ionization chamber and the fission chamber, both needs some external sources. Okay. so that's why it's called active device but for safety related area somewhere where you need to have a um, uh, passive device so those cases like nuclear uh, reactor control and safety this kind of device are required because the possibility of failure is uh, become less as it's a passive device so these are being widely used in reactors to monitor the neutron flux due to its availability uh, adaptability for in core severe environment because electronics are less so it, 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 it there is no problem to use in uh, severe active area also okay so these are uh, these are a part of the in core neutron flux monitoring system which provides the detailed information Uh, a neutral a neutron uh, flux flux distribution and thus the margin it's help to uh, maintain the uh, peak power limits okay as i told it's uh, no need any external voltage source so that's why it's called the passive device okay so basically uh, uh, the the <coughs> electrode itself it's uh, it is it will emits uh, uh, the uh, the beta particle which is electron directly it will uh, the beta emission will occur and it will uh, uh, the electron will flow through the external circuit and easily it can be uh, uh, measured by uh, conventional current measuring device without uh, the help of uh, much more complicated electronics okay so there are uh, uh, several advantage because as i told very little instrumentation is required okay so usually only millivolt meter or an ammeter is sufficient enough to measure the current flow later on uh, it is to be mapped with the desired uh, physical quantity you are going to uh, uh, measure okay and the uh, emitter material has much greater uh, lifetime than boron or the uranium 235 lining used in the fission chamber okay these are the main two advantages now why are we will use this why we will use this okay so normally uh, the the as it is uh, so uh, you know as there is no uh, either the uh, uh, external voltage source is there to uh, create one uh, electric field to accelerate the uh, charged particle in the ion chamber nor there is a, a fission is taking place so basically entire current flow is causing due to the beta emission from the emitter itself so 
uh, uh, the current flowing through the uh, uh, full power operation are also sometime amplitude uh, may not be satisfactory okay so uh, due to that it is unable to provide with the information about the uh, flux distribution at low power operation that means conventionally it is 10 percent and less okay so the emitter material and, and another very important thing the emitter materials decays with a characteristic supply okay this will determine the uh, response time of the detector so depending on the response time it can be classified into two category one is prompt response detector which is basically used for reactor safety protection and its regulation application another is uh, a delayed response detector okay which is basically used for flux uh, mapping system okay now this is the construction you know this is the you see this is the emitter this is the emitter and this is the collector and both are gal uh, there is some insulator is there in between to uh, uh, provide some uh, galvanic isolation otherwise both is will get shorted okay so now uh, uh, when the high kinetic energy nucle uh, uh, nuclear uh, particles like alpha beta or neutron thermal neutron it's getting absorbed by the electrode so uh, it undergoes a radioactive decay by emitting an uh, a beta particle okay so normally uh, the emitter will be made of rhodium or vanadium like that uh, material okay so and the collector it will uh, it will collect the uh, as the name suggest name is telling it is collecting the electrons okay okay so normally the uh, so as the electrons so uh, by as the electrons is collected here so there will be elect flow of electron through this if flow of electron is through this then the current will, it will go through like current flow is the opposite of flow of electron so electron flow will be this way and current flow will be this way so normally that's why this is called this is same work as anode and this is same work as cathode okay and it is grounded normally the collector is uh, normally made grounded so here is the uh, simple uh, i have given some that 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 uh, um, activation reaction so this is the rhodium uh, this is happening in uh, rhodium uh, based spnd so which has a relatively high sensitivity high burn up rate and it's uh, uh, it has uh, a delayed signal so here what is happening uh, it's a part of the local power density so here you see this is the neutron which is absorbed by rhodium uh, 103 and it will become radioactive rhodium okay and then it decays to palladium 104 by emitting the beta so this is the electron so this beta particle will cause the flow of current through the external circuit and that is to be measured and by measuring that number of uh, uh, nuclear particles its trajectory its momentum its energy all can be mapped through that electrical signal electrical current this is a vanadium uh, based emitter okay so uh, this is <coughs> uh, you see this is a with a minimal you see there was a perturbation but he significant but here the um, perturbation of the local power is very uh, of the local power density is very minimal and it has a long uh, delayed signal okay so here what is happening 
this neutron is absorbed by the vanadium 51 okay uh, and these are the uh, quantitative parameters so it has a, a capture cross section of 4.9 burns okay for the thermal neutrons without any resonance uh, this will produce vanadium 52 with a half life of 3.74 minute so that's why it's produced a delayed signal okay and uh, it will produce the beta okay so this beta again it will be uh, <coughs> mapped to uh, measure the uh, actual uh, quantity to be measured so this kind of emitter can be used for uh, normally flux monitoring and uh, the rhodium based it's for protection and safety okay this is a very simple uh, explanation about the uh, 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 nuclear uh, sorry neutron detectors and nuclear detectors the main interesting part is uh, the electronics of the system which is very interesting and uh, it involves uh, a lot of um, mathematical uh, estimation and calculation uh, because entire process the counting process and uh, this uh, the uh, post processing these are all stochastic in nature so lot of probabilistic approaches are also involved so uh, that is a very interesting part i think that is not required right now to get the basic concepts so if it is required i'll be happy to explain that also thank you so much